going to Porque, Bill, Boss, um, I can't pronounce it. I'm just gonna write uh, the name of this place. So it's up to you guys uh, how, how you guys pronounce it. But anyway, going here is a little bit challenging and it's a five mile trail. And I recommend going here with a 454 or overdrive drive with good clearance like eight, nine, 10 or more. So yeah, it's pretty cool though. And you're gonna enjoy it. You can do overlanding here or whatever you wanna do. So right now I'm drinking my coffee and after this, we're gonna explore this trail and stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. So let's go. Okay guys, so for today, our starting point is located in Washington County, Utah. So it's gonna be right over here. And then we're gonna drive for five miles to Torquilville Falls. So it's gonna be right over here. So be careful guys and drive safely. in here so going here recommended um, for 4x4 four four or all-wheel drive car especially it's a little bit wet here right now so yeah but with a good clearance you're gonna be make it here my car is doing fine with the all-wheel drive system and yeah we're going more up there so hold on Yeah, and here it's more steeper, but I managed to go up there. So, by the way, the Rob Ford does have a lift, it's still in stock uh, height. So, yeah, it's really wet and muddy in here. So, if you're gonna go here, maybe in a dry season, so you might have a good traction. But, yeah, pretty much I did my car decent having up. My car doesn't have any hard time climbing it and look at that stiff and there's some snow in the mountain there so let's continue driving So just in case you don't have a type of car for this trail or you don't have confidence to do this trail you can always do a hiking it's only five miles i see some people doing it or you can bring your dirt bike so it's more faster by using that or any method that you can reach the destination so it's up to you guys so the only thing is that bring up plenty of water because it's mo mostly like 
climbing on the mountain so we're almost to our destination it's like a half a mile before we hit the destination so like I said be careful guys going here Okay guys, so pretty much we're here in the destination. I just went there to check something but I camped there and uh Torek Bill or bear with me guys. Uh, I I can really I can really pronounce it but it's right over there where I camp and man it's beautiful though. I'm going here, it's challenging but once you like the first mile is really hard but once you get after that one mile the trail is pretty much easy though to go and I, I see a lot of people going down there taking some picture and yeah we're gonna go there after we walk here to see some view man it's beautiful though Oh, look at that falls <laughs> I guess that guy ca uh, trying to reach that Hey, where's, where's my dog? Jay! Psst. Come on Yeah, we're gonna walk there We think I, I bring slippers So I don't wanna be removing when I'm I'm wearing a shoes. Oh, man. It's been snow here uh, like a week ago, but it's already melted and the water is really cold right now. Uh, come on. Hmm. Come on. Come on. Here. <laughs> oh my dog is pretending to like he's swimming though it's a water's a little bit too uh, the current is too strong for him so i need to carry him okay you're done swimming all right uh, so we're going down to the waterfalls i'm gonna see underneath on it and this hiking trail is a little bit stiff so be careful guys Yeah. So for me, if you want to sit here, at least you have the shade here, though. It's pretty cool, though. It's pretty cool. It's like a a cave or something shade. Now, anyway, we're gonna go more further in there. here at least you have a all-wheel drive or 4x4 four four with good clearance like 8, 9, 10 or whatever because it's pretty rocky and yeah I don't want you guys to stop here and 
hope you guys like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I see you next time for the next video so peace out guys